Hello, and welcome back to the Guild Wars Factions Let's Play. So here we are, we're outside of Cavalon. Uh, I know we were at Bypass you Reach last, but uh, I'm back here. I'm going to try to bust out the Jade Quarry in the Fort Aspenwood uh, versions for the Luxons. So let's do that first. Let's get these out of the way. So that's what we're doing. So we're heading out this way. We're trying to get to Fort Aspenwood. So let's get to Fort Aspen. Aspen? We're going to Aspen. <laughs> Jade Aspenwood. All right, let's go. Dude, I like this. Oh, spiky coral. Oh no. Ow. 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 Right. <laughs> that hurt my pride more than anything else. It's like, what is this? This is like, see? This is like a giant. Giant crab, or I guess it's not a crab, more like a snail. No, I guess it's a hermit crab, right? Giant hermit crab. Oh fuck! Here we go. Oh, I'm so oh, I'm bound by chains. Hell. And of course, we have our, our Luxon buff, so we can get our Luxon faction that we're going to need. Oh, yep. They killed, they killed our sis. They're killing our healers. Damn Ani. Of course, our first, our first encounter of the day. Bunch of Ani and this group all at the same time. Always a good start. Bad spears. But yeah, he's a, just like a giant hermit crab, just hanging out. It's like, you stay here, we'll come back for you. Or did those Luxon die? You don't know. Ooh. All right. I, I like how this boat just stuck there. Pretty interesting. Oh, I remember this. This, the arena. The Luxon Arena. I remember this. Where's the leader of it? There's a person who has a quest. We need to do this. Luxon Arena fan. Luxon Arena fan. Oh, arena Master. Okay. We're doing the arena. Let's go. Let's go. Can I get that? Well, no, I have to go down this way. It's the only way. All right. We're doing this. I remember this. I have to do this. Okay. This is this is a nostalgic quest from... I remember this. I used to do this a lot because it was part of my... um, The faction run that I would do. I'd have to come through here. And I'd also farm some faction, because you can, this is a repeatable quest. You can do this multiple times, what we're about to do. But, so we're going to do it at least once. Inside this arena, I have gathered uh, together a team of convicted criminals. That way you don't have to feel bad when you kill them. Who will face you in combat. To heighten the challenge and provide greater entertainment for those who've come to watch the battle, I will also let loose upon you some of the fierce creatures I have captured from across the Jade Sea. Are you a coward, or will you enter the arena and face this challenge? I'm a coward. <laughs> That's funny. No, let the battle commence. I want to know how Arena Master Portis caught everything. Welcome, I am Portis, master of this arena. Here you may battle against hardened criminals living out their sentences, as well as dangerous creatures that I have captured. He captured them himself. Although some of my fellow Luxon think that arena battles should be banned, the training you receive here will help ensure that you are prepared to battle against the Kurzix when the time comes. By the way, you seem to have attracted quite a crowd. I would appreciate it if you try to draw the battles out a little and make them entertaining. Hey, shrewd businessman. At least he's being up front. I can respect a guy who's just like, hey, can you stretch it out? So they, uh, he just cares about his fans. He wanted his fans to have a good, and that's not even scummy. If anything, that makes sense. He just wants his fans who paid good money to have a good show. I feel like he's, he's not saying rig the fight. He's just saying, uh, enjoy the sport. I think is what he's really trying to get to. Just enjoy the sport. Look at all these convicted criminals. <laughs> and they're ready. The moment I get in here, they're down. All right, we need to find, kill the corrupted, cr the convicted criminals that are actually monks. I always gotta think like, what did, what did the monk do to be, ooh, greetings Luxons. Many of you have traveled great distances to be here today and I shall not go away disappointed, that I promise you. For today, I have a great pleasure of bringing you a battle featuring the mighty champions who claimed victory at the convocation. It's true, we did. Who keeps rezzing them? 
Stop resin them. Oh my goodness. I don't understand who keep They all have they all have resurrection signets. They're all just resurrecting themselves. Ooh. I know you all eager for the show, so without further ado, let the battle begin. I mean the battle already begun. We're already in here fighting. Man, so, so this is actually like a holy crap. This really is like a uh, actual PV. It's, just, it's supposed to give the feeling of like a PVP fight. I am kind of getting that feeling. Everyone has resurrection signets. Everyone's healing everyone else. Well, it looks like we're finally winning. They're, they're running out of their. They can't do it. They can't res. There we go. First round done. Your criminals are destroyed. Did you hear the roar of that crowd? They loved you. I didn't even see any of that other beast. They only saw the Luxons. All right. Um, this battle was great for business. Anytime you want to come back and sharpen your skills in the arena, let me know. I'll give you top billing. There. Now it's just a fun little thing. I didn't I don't, strike them down. Make them pay for their crimes. Yeah, I don't. I I, I don't see any. I didn't see. Any other monsters? I thought it was supposed to be monsters and and uh, the criminals. Oh well, <laughs> whatever. Uh, that was some good old times. I remember the arena. I forgot that they had healing. Oh, I'm not healing. I mean, I knew they had healing. Uh, the resurrection signets. Everyone resurrecting up in here. That's crazy. All right. Anyway, back onto the main quest, which was for Aspen. We're going to Jade Aspen. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. See, I'm gonna get tricked if I go that way. Gotta go this. Way. Gotta go. We gotta gotta engage. We gotta engage. Mortal Kombat. Scuttlefish. Decaying man. De Why would? Uh, I guess he was probably eating it. I guess he was probably eating the decaying man. Ugh. Binding chains. Okay. Binding chains pre rough. Boom. All right. Nice. Uh, you guys can kill those spirits. You guys can fight that. Uh, I'm just gonna run. Breaker Hollow. Breaker Hollow. Uh... I'm moving even slower because they're siphoning, siphon my speed. There we go. Breaker Hollow. Oh, cool. This is a little... Oh, Breaker Hollow. Yeah, I remember this area. I spent a lot of time here. Because this is where I would... This uh, this would be one of the areas I would leave for my... I actually think this is where I would start, if I recall. I would leave from Breaker Hollow. And then that's where I would do my, my run through. Oh, man. Old times. Okay, what's it say? Formed out of the hull of a ship that was grounded during the Jade Winds, this small outpost serves as a place for Luxons to convene and trade goods. Where's the boat? Okay. It's like, it's like made out of a hull of a boat? What are you talking about? I'm guessing they're talking about, like, well, these are seashells. No. There's this giant boat that's just stuck here. Yeah. A small little outpost, not much here. Oh, yeah, and that's, that's how you go if you want to get to the fancy area in the back over there. Got one quest here. You look somewhat heroic. Perhaps you can help me? I met this nice fellow in Kantha named Bosh Sang. He sold, uh, he sold me a blessed cowbell that actually wards off the plague when you use it. Handy, no? I thought so, too. Well, as I was coming back from Kantha by the way of the coast, a group of Kappa jumped me out of nowhere. Um... I'm no warrior. I admit that fear overtook me, and as I fled, I dropped my precious cowbell into a bed of blue oysters under the shadow of Mount Quinkai. What will I do if the plague returns? Without that blessed cowbell, I have no way to protect myself. Okay, so this was... This is all a reference. You will have your cowbell. I swear it. But yeah, um, blue oyster... Okay, so this whole thing is a music reference. Blue oyster cult is the one who, who sang the song, um, Don't fear the reaper, the wind or the sun or the rain, they will be like they are. Come on, baby, don't fear the reaper. Yeah. Well, 
That's by Blue Oyster Cult. And in that in that song, they have a cowbell, a very prominent cowbell that you can hear. And there's also an SNL skit where um, <laughs> you they the uh, what's the actor? I forget the actor's name. Um, Willem Willem Dafoe. Is it Willem Dafoe? I think it's Willem Dafoe. Yeah. Um, where he's a, I think so at least. I think it's him. I don't even remember who it is. But anyway, the point is he needs more cowbell. Yeah. I have a I have a you know, I have an ache and and the cure is more cowbell. So yeah. And that's literally and that's what the quest is called, more cowbell. Yeah, this whole thing is a reference to the SNL skit, Blue Oyster Cult and the Cowbell, oh, of course. Oh, well, now I, I feel like I will, will have to... Oh, well, look, we're going to have to go that way anyway to get there, so we'll do more cowbell. Perfect. All right, well, then on to Mount uh, Quinkai. Let's go. Mount Quinkai. Oh, oh, oh apparently it's Blue Oyster's right there. Oh, or what? We're going to have to check a bunch of Blue Oysters till we find it? All right. All right, give me the blessing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and Scoutmaster. We'll do these quests if we need to for the faction. I don't think we'll, it's going to be that default, but... Yeah, no duck, no luck on that. So yeah, it's basically check all the blue oysters until I can find it. Alright. It's like it's one of these... I wonder if it's always the same or if it randomly spawns. Like, just uh, like randomly picks one. Oh, here we go. Group of outcasts. Oh, man, and a boss. They have a healer. They have ritualists. I don't know why I'm... Oh, they have... He has cower! You can't outdo us. Perfect. Double dead. And dead. Da -da 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 -da. So yeah, the Lux. See, the Luxons don't have wardens and stuff. We have outcasts. So I'm guessing like they're just the Luxons are more likely to go rogue than the Kurziks. You don't really find any bad Kurziks, but you do find bad Luxons. Hey, a blessed cowbell acquired. Blessed, <laughs> blessed cowbell. All right, well, let's just, let's just go return it. I want to see what he says. We'll go return this, and then we'll continue the main quest. Yeah. So the jade quarry would require us to go down the archipelagos, where Fort Aspen would. Let's just go in this way. Alright. Turn this in real fast to Eurus. 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 Thank goodness you recover that cowbell. Your absence gave me time to think. Perhaps I'm being selfish, keeping this power for myself. I have never seen anything like this cowbell, and I do myself and every member of my clan a disservice if I don't use it to protect as many of us from the plague as possible. It is often said among my people that a great... Uh, Reaver guides us all to the next life, dr uh, digging through the sky of jade and leading the dead to the great wild sea in the stars. With this cowbell, I will show them that we have no need to fear the Reaver. Oh my gosh. This whole... <laughs> Baby, don't fear the Reaver. That, 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 literally, that whole quest is just a reference to that. See, you have to understand. It, it's, Guild Wars used to have a lot of memes like this, and a lot of references to pop culture and stuff. I mean, Guild Wars 2 does still as well, but like... Guild Wars reveled in it. Lots of quests and references. All right, well, that, we get it. That was that was something. All right, give me the give me the buff. Here we go. So yeah, we have we're heading to Fort Aspenwood. So let's do that. Like this is cool. Like this is just like little bits of the seawater that was on the sand turned to jade. And then also you have giant jade clumps, but I don't know why. This could be any reason. A naga hunting. We're going naga hunting. I don't really. There we go. Naga rituals. 
you run from me. Nope. Man, I'm not doing anything this fight. You, you guys got him? You got him? Yeah. yeah. Ten factions is a decent amount, too, honestly. At least I think so. But I come from a time where I don't really mind grinding stuff, so it never really bothered me. Is there gonna be- yeah, I, I was just about to say, is there gonna be Oni in- boom, Oni. Oni, is it- what- what do you guys say? Do you- do you call it an Oni or an Oni? I think it's Oni, or Oni? I think it's the Oni. The Oni. I don't, I don't really don't know. I think it's Oni. It's an Oni mask, an Oni? I'm pretty sure it's Oni. Oh, this looks cool. Like, the, look at these hills. That's cool. That, 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 this is just a good vista. I like that. All right. This is like a dam. This way, look, look this water's normal. I just realize this is normal water. This water isn't jade water. It's weird how it's like literally only the only this jade sea or only the sea turned to jade. All the other water was still pretty normal. Unless this was like made, it could have been made later, I guess. Like this could have been put up more more recently. I have a, I have a, I don't really think that's the case, but it could be. Hmm. And it looks like there's a little like meditation island over there. A little shrine. Interesting. Oh, let's kick some ass. Hey, everybody, want to kick some ass? I do. Ooh, fell down. I do. I do. Yep. I'm going to get you. All right. Nope. Stop blocking my abilities. Damn escape. Is there a quest up here? Oh man, there's another quest. Magistrate Kin. Oh man, he is a unique model, I feel like. I don't think I've seen this before. The Yeti had begun to stage organized raids under a new leader named Arashash Mountain Club. Just last night, they attacked a village. Although we were able to drive them off, they stole the sacred golden lantern that has hung in the village temple for years. The lantern doesn't have any actual powers, but it does serve as a, as a potent and lovely symbol of our ties to Kantha and the Emperor. Without it, many people will begin to despair and lose hope. Please, Sage, find Ara Mountain Club and retrieve the golden lantern. I will retrieve your lantern. Can't you just use candles? <laughs> I love reading this stuff. All right. The return of the... Oh, man, the return of the Yeti. Is this like a reference to the other quest way back in the other area? I'm down for that. So this whole this, so this is a whole little village over here. I like this tiny little. Uh, what is this like a Luxon village? And they these Luxons don't go surfing on the the jade. They sort of just like chill, or do they live here because they're in constant war? And this is like a war village. You know how they have like war villages where like the village only exists because there's a war nearby, and they just need a place to station everyone. Work, uh, some companies do that too, or like mining town. Like, have you ever heard of like a mining town where the whole town was just established because that's a place where people are gonna be mining? It's kind of like that, except for war. They're like, This is where we're gonna be doing a lot of our war, so we might as well build a little home right here. In their defense, not a bad place. All right, who's healing all of these rot wallows? Are they all just healing themselves with their friggin' vampiric touch? A lot of rot wallows. See, and again, see, rot wallows, these were. Actually, no, there were some bad rot wallows in the Kurzik area, too. But they, some of the Kurziks have learned to, you know, turn these into actual beasts, domesticate them. Luxon has crabs. <laughs> For what it's worth, the Luxons managed to have crabs. Now, the real thing is that they have the freaking siege turtles. I love the siege turtles. I think, see, the fact that they're giving the siege turtle in Guild Wars 2, I think that's really cool. Um, I don't know how much I'll really utilize it in Guild Wars 2, to be honest. Um, I don't really see myself needing it. 
but I like the idea that you can carry other people around and it's still interesting and neat. We got Island Guardian needs to go down. He's the heal boy. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. Come on. Yeah. Good job. 25 enemies slain. Aha! Where you going, buddy? Nowhere. They just, they just, they love their vampires, so they just keep getting their life back by sucking it out of you. So I'm gonna take your life. Uh, the, the foundations of the Touch Ranger. I remember the days of the Touch Ranger. It was a build where you were a ranger with necro skills, and all your abilities were touch skills, but went right through armor and stuff. And you were a ranger, so you had expertise, so you could make the cost of abilities less. And what you would do is you would just take a bunch of touch abilities that instantly went through armor. Um, and you would, their expertise it would cost you nothing, so you could spam it, basically. And you had, like, defensive abilities because you were a ranger, so you could not get hurt. And the times you did get hurt, you would heal because you were using all touch abilities. Yeah. It was a very gimmicky build, and, like, if anyone was aware, they would just keep their distance from you, and you'd basically be useless. But, uh, when it first came out, though, it was pretty funny. It was a good build. It was fun. The Touch Ranger. Good stuff. Alright. Kill. Reckon these Yetis. Yeti Spaghetti! Now, the real question is will they tie the Yeti to the Jotun? Are these like Jotun, I wonder? Like the equivalent of Jotun? Or maybe a descendant of the Jotun? Maybe the Jotun are descendants of the Yeti. Maybe Yetis are free Jotun. I don't know. These are, these are the greater questions we won't really know. We'll find out if they're in there. All right, Ashmar Mountain Club and Haroth Earthen. Oh man, there's two bosses and one's a freaking monk? You kidding me? You kidding me right now? And of course, step on, step on a trap and break your back. Man, and they're all stacked together, huh? This this actually kind of doesn't look great, you guys. No lie, this looks kind of rough. Um, I'm gonna see if we can if I can maybe pull. If you can pull just one group at a time, that's not the worst thing. I don't know how healy the heal boy is. All right, let's kill this earth and earth grove. No, don't run back. He's going to. Isn't he? He's gonna run back. So we aggro all of them. No. That's what I was worried about. All right, kill her. All right, at least he's not. Su he's not a super big heal guy. Kill any of them. They all must die. Die. <laughs> it is battle rage. Battle rage. The battle rage is on. Golden lantern. All right, let's, we'll pick that up in a second. <laughs> I just killed like this entire fucking generation of, yet of yetis. They're all dead. Perfect. Fantastic. Alright. We can go turn we turn this in. There. What's it look like? Ooh, fancy icon. Gold lantern. Ooh. Having the gold lanterns doing these quests is always good. Gives us the uh, the Luxon faction we need. It expands the world a little bit. Gives us a little bit of lore and excitement. 
explains how this world is set up and it's good stuff. Yeah, see, it just looks like there's a. I wonder if like I wonder if this area will be a POI, the like point of interest in Guild Wars 2. I wonder. Be curious to see any of these things again. That's why we're playing it after all, so I can get I can refresh my memory on how everything looked. Thank the gods you were able to find it. I will send word to Cantha and request additional guards to make certain this never happens again. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Now we're gonna go over to. Aspenwood. And that will add Aspenwood to the map. And that will be one part done. We'll be done with this episode. And then we'll uh, work on the next one. I think that seems fair. We got a lot done today. You know, we got we found break we got Breaker Hollow. We did a quest down here in the Jade Arena. We did another quest over here. We did the blue blue oyster cult. Um yeah, we did some good stuff. Aspen Woodgate. Yeah, so there's the Aspen Wood Gate, which is just like an outpost. Yeah, I don't. I, it's still a very weird system. I'm not sure why they do it this way. There must be a reason. But outpost and then mission. They didn't want to make the, the they didn't want to make the mission outpost and the queue up system the same. I guess maybe. I don't know. Right here, and this is the actual Port Aspen Wood. Pretty sure they both say the same thing no matter which one you pick. Yeah, so they have they have the same exact icon. Um, this fortress was designed by the famed Kurzic architect Lord Stein Zuhelzer more than 500 years ago. One of the few remaining structures of true stone, which therefore dates from the time before the Jade Wind. Fort Aspenwood has long stood at the key strategic location along the Kurzic Luxon border. The Kurzics have managed to hold the fort against Luxon encroachment for centuries. But this arrangement may not last forever. Okay, so it's literally it literally says the same thing on both sides. Okay. I was wondering if maybe the Luxons have like a Luxon version of it, but ultimately they say the same thing. Alright. Well then. Looks like we're done here, so oh wait, no, we need to actually turn you gotta actually turn it in. I mean otherwise what are we doing? I mean look at we also we do get this cool. From the now we get the this view from this side. We got it from over there, now we got it from over here. Yeah. Ooh, it is pretty cool. Won't lie, it is pretty cool. Elder Rhea sent you. Well, you made it just in time. We're ready to begin the final assault. Da 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 Alright. And then in the next episode we're gonna do the Jade Quarry. And we'll head towards the we'll leave Calveon again and we'll head south this way and we'll head down to the, the Jade Quarry in that one. So I'll catch you in the next episode. Till then, stay super.